Good afternoon class. Today we will continue the last session which we have conducted in rational numbers. We will continue that and today we will study how to add, subtract, multiply and divide rational numbers. So I will start it by sharing This with you as you know we have studied till now that three prop uh, four pro uh, three properties closure commutative and associative over here there is small uh, fill up the blank type of table where you have to write whether the associative property works in rational number in addition or yes or no so what is associative property first? As we have studied earlier, associative property is if there is any number A okay, plus brackets equals to plus C equals to A plus bracket B plus Over here, you can write subtraction size in also instead of addition. You can use multiplication sign also instead of addition. You can use division sign also instead of uh, addition for all these different properties. For addition, you will use add sign, positive uh, plus sign. For subtraction, you will use subtraction sign. For multiplication, you will use multiplication sign. And for division, you will use division sign. Now, first, rational numbers work in addition. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 equals to 1 by 2 plus bracket 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. This is how any number, rational number we can consider. And yes, it will work. If you cross check that, it will work as we have done yesterday. Now next, will it work for subtraction? No, it will not work for subtraction. Will it work for multiplication? Yes, it will work for multiplication. This I have taught you yesterday only. How to check this out? I'm just filling some of these. Does integer works in addition? Yes, it works. Does it work in subtraction associatively? No. Does it work in multiplication? Yes. Does it work in division? No. Whole number, yes, or subtraction, no. For multiplication, yes. Again, they work for division, no, they don't work. For natural number, again, yes, no. For multiplication, yes, they work for division. Now this is very simple to understand and I have already taught you. Now the next thing is which we will study how to add rational numbers. As you can see it, we will be now doing addition of rational numbers.
we will have the addition of rational numbers. So how we can do that? What are rational numbers? They are always in the form of p by q, where q is never equals to zero. This is what I have taught you yesterday. Now we will begin further. Let's say there are two rational numbers, five by six and seven by five. The two rational number five by six and seven by five. And you have to find the so what you have to do? This you have done in fractions also in class third, fourth, in class fourth, fifth, sixth. So first you take the LCM of the denominators, the LCM would be thirty onto the top, five into five, onto the side, seven into else the second method what you can do we can make the denominator same by multiplying numerator and denominator with the same number so that both we can have same denominator if this one is easier easiest 25 plus and this will be your answer. In other case if the rational numbers one is negative one is positive this could be like this also 5 by 6 plus minus 7 by 5 and this will become 5 by 6 minus 7 by 5 and this is actually subtraction of rational numbers this is subtraction of rational number again this can be done in the same way 30 is the LCM, 25 minus 42 and answer will be 17 by 30 and as the negative number is Greater, it will be negative 17 by. Now, after addition and subtraction, we have multiplication. So, multiplication of rational numbers. This we can do like if I say there is number 7 by. Multiply by 8 by 9, multiply by 3 by 20. So, while multiplying, what we can do, we can see what we can cut from the denominator and numerators. We can cut that like 3 into 7 is 21. So, this it cancel out, and 7 can cancel out with 7. Again, 2, 4. And 2, 3 is equal to 6. So, what will we get? We will get 4 upon 3 into 9. That is 4 upon 27. If the, there is negative rational numbers, let's say it is minus 7 by 6 into 8 by 9 into 3 by 21. Then only negative 9 sign will persist. An answer will be minus 4 by 27. If you multiply two negative rational numbers, the negative negative sign will become positive. It will become plus 1 by 6. And let's see what else is there. Now we have we know how to add in this also. First we'll open these brackets and it will become either you can take much subtraction sign over here or you can let it be like this. But they have done in the example. First they have taken the LCM. The LCM is uh, 462. 
We have converted all the numbers into fractions into with the denominator of 162 and finally we got the answer. The another method which they have used is by pairing them. They have paired these numbers and these numbers separately. They sort them in pair, then they add them. This can also be done. Let's do this with a pair of these. It is 3 by 7 plus minus 6 by 11 plus minus 8 by 21 plus 5 by 22. This is what given. So what we have done in pairing them is first they have taken these two and they have paired them then they have taken these two and paired them. Let's say why they have used uh, it's better instead of you pairing this and this, it's better to pair this and this and this and this. Why? Because over here 7 and 21 has a common factor 7. 11 and 22 has a common factor 11. So we'll pair 3 upon 7 plus minus 8 upon 21. Then plus sign because it is in between all are in positive. Plus in bracket we have minus 6 upon 11 plus 5 upon 22. Further we will take Elsim over here it will be 21 upon 9 minus 8 plus over here else it will be 22 minus 12 plus 5. Further, this will be 1 by 21 and this will be minus 7 by 22. When we further take the LCM of 21 and 22, it will be 462. There is only already a 21, so we multiply it with 22, so it will be 22. We multiply minus 7 into 21, it will be minus 147, and the answer will be. Minus 125 upon 462. I hope this is clear to you. Now coming to the next one is multiplication. This I have already taught you how to do. Now we will do, we will see what is, now we will study how to do division and addition of rational numbers. Let's say Division of rational numbers. Let's say there are two rational numbers 5 by 9 divided by 21 by 15. This is given. So, while doing this, what we can do, as you might have said this before also. We can interchange the division sign with multiplication and reciprocal and we will do the reciprocal of this number. So we can do it like this 5 upon 9 multiply with 15 upon 21. Now we can easily find the answer with multiplication and that would be 15 into 5 75 and 21 into 9 is 189 so this would be our answer when we have to divide we can interchange the division sign with multiplication by doing the reciprocal of the number after division sign 
Now next, what is additive inverse and what is multiplicative inverse? Additive inverse. Additive inverse is actually identity. It says that when we add an additive inverse of a number to itself, then it becomes the sum becomes zero. Means if there is some number x, if we add the additive inverse of x, it the sum will becomes zero. That means x will be equals to the additive inverse of x will be equals to minus x. Additive inverse of x will be equals to minus x. Let's say if I ask additive inverse of 2, so we'll write it minus. Additive inverse of minus 2 will be minus minus 2 that is 2. Additive inverse of 1 by 6 it will be minus 1 by 6. And last additive inverse of minus 5 by 6 will be minus minus 5 by 6 that is just 5 by 6 I hope you got the concept of additive inverse now we will move to multiplicative inverse now what is multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse says that if we multiply a number with its multiplicative inverse, the result is 1. The result is 1. If we multiply, if x is multiplied with its multiplicative inverse, the result will be equals to 1. This shows that multiplicative inverse of x equals to 1 by x that means simply reciprocating the number gives you the multiplicating inverse so how you can do that if I ask multiplicative inverse of 6 it would be 1 by 6. Multiplicative inverse of 1 by 6 would be equal to 6. Multiplicative inverse of minus 3 by 5 will be equal to minus 5 by 3. The negative right sign will remain the same. Only we will do the reciprocal of numbers. If it is multiplicative inverse of minus 7, then it will be 1 by minus 1 by 7. Hope it is clear to you. Now we will move to next. We have done. Uh, we will move to distributive property of rational numbers. Now what is distributive property we have to see? Distributive property is actually if there is something like this a multiplied with b plus c. So we have to break this whole into two distributions. What we can do? A into b, a into b 
first, then A into C. A into C. And in between there is a positive sign, so we'll make it positive. This is simple distributive property. And inverse of this, if it is written AB plus AC, then we can convert it into, we can take out A common and it will become B plus C. If the number is in this form, we can convert it into this. If number is in this form, we can convert it into this. This is simple distributive property. Now using this property, we have to solve one question and the question is this 7 by 5 into minus 3 by 12 let's write it down first 7 by 5 into minus 3 by 12 plus 7 by 5 into 5 by this is given. We'll solve it out. How we can solve this is in the form of this a into b plus a into c. This is a into b plus a into c. And we can use this property and break it again. We can take out 7 by 5 common. If we take out 7 by 5 common from this, What comes minus 3 by 12 and there's a positive sign plus in between 5 by 12. Minus 3 by 12 into 5 plus 5 by 12. As there is a positive sign, so what we will do? 7 by 5 equals to 12 is common LCM. So minus 3. plus 5 and while solving this we get 7 by 5 equals into 2 upon 12 7 into 2 is 14 and 12 into 5 is or you can simply first Cut this also to 1 into 6. 7 ones are 7 and 5 into 6 is 30. So answer will be 7 upon 30. Now we will start with and exercise 1.1. Now you will be able to do all these questions. Using the appropriate property, find this. So we'll check this out first. What is the question? Answer number one. Minus two upon three into three upon five plus five upon two minus three upon five into one by six. So as you see, as you can see this question and we have to solve this out. We have to use a property. Which property you can see over here? Let's see. These both are common, isn't it? So if I take this one out and write it in the last, it becomes minus 2 upon 3 into 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 into 1 by 6 and plus 5 by 2 this I can write in the last also so now these both are same so this is A into B into C so we can take out this A common from this one so it will become 3 upon 5 as we are taking the negative sign, we are not taking the negative sign, so it will become bracket minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 by 6. 
plus 5 by 2 because we have not taken anything from this. So which property we are using? We are using distributive property. We are using distributive property. Now, can we solve this one? Yes, we can solve the calcium would be 6 minus 4 minus 1 to 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2. This would be 3 by 5 into minus 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2. This we can cut. This also we can cut and we'll get minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. And the result will be 4 by 2. We'll get answer. Is that clear to everyone? Now, next question. Similarly, you can solve this one. Over here, what is common in between? Um, there is 2 by 5 and 2 by 5 common over here. 2 by 5 and 2 by 5. You will write this one and this one together. What do you have to write? You have to write this one together after that you will write this in a sequence now write the additive inverse of each of the following additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8 additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 is 5 by 9 additive inverse of minus 6 by minus 5 now this is both the signs numerator and denominator can are negative we can cancel out negative to each other and then the additive inverse will be minus 6 by 5. 2 by minus 9 will be equals to just 2 by 9. Now I will like to explain one more thing to you. Just uh, see it properly. If I write a number minus a upon minus b then negative signs actually get cancelled and number becomes a upon b and rest either i can write minus a upon b will be equals to a upon minus b is equals to minus a upon b all these are equal either you write negative sign in the numerator or in denominator the whole fraction becomes negative so over here also, when we look at this, the negative negative sign gets cancelled out, it becomes 6 by 5. Then the additive inverse of 6 by 5 will be minus 6 by 5. 2 by minus 9 is actually minus 2 by 9. So additive inverse of minus 2 by 9 is just 2 by 9. Similarly, additive inverse of 19 by minus 6 is just 19 by 6. Verify that minus of minus x is x. This is the same property of additive inverse. Just put 1 over here. 1 equals to minus 1 into 1. You put the value of x anywhere and you get the answer. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following. Multiplicative inverse of minus 13. We know we have to do the reciprocal. Just reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse of minus 13 is 1 by minus 1 by 13. Multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 is minus 19 by 13. We will uh, we'll do the reciprocal of this. Similarly, for this, after solving, we have to do the inverse, multiplicative inverse of this. Similarly, for this, name the property under the multiplication used in each of the problems. Now, you have to state the property. What we are doing? Minus 4 into 5, minus 4 by 5 into 1 equals to 1 into minus 4 by 5. What is this? This is actually which property is this? We have studied it yesterday, so I just want you to recall which property is this in which we are doing a into b equals to b into a. a into b equals to b into a. I hope you have studied it. This is commutative property. This is a into b equals to b into a. Again, 
which is a into inverse of a equals to 1. So this is actually multiplicative inverse. Continuing it. Sixth question, multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. So you will do the reciprocal of this and you can multiply it together. Reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is 16 by minus 7. Then what property allow you to compute this? How we can compute this? 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 into 6. This is actually associative property. Yes, 8 minus a multiplicative inverse of minus 1 by 1 by 8. So what we can do? We can uh, simplify this mixed fraction and it will become 1 into 8. Is, uh, you can take the negative sign out first and it will become 1 into 8, 8 plus 1. It becomes 9 by 8. So minus 9 by 8 is the fraction. So yes, 8 by 9 is not a multiplicative inverse of minus 9 by 8 because negative sign is there in between. Uh, let's see, we can do this on code P also if you want. Answer number 8. 8 by 9 is multiplicative inverse of minus 1, 1 by 8. Now let's recall some properties of fraction also. What is this actually? This is a mixed fraction. You can write it as x1 minus 1, 1 by 8 also. And any fraction a, b by c is actually a plus b by c. This we can break it in this form also. So how to solve this? And by solving it becomes a into c plus b by c. Over here also what it will do? a into c plus b upon c. So it will become minus 1 into 8 is 8 plus 1 by 8. That is minus 9 by 8. So is minus 9 by 8 is multiplicative inverse of Is it a inverse, multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9? No. 8 in multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9 will be equals to 9 by 8. And an additive inverse will be minus 8 by 9. It is neither multiplicative inverse nor additive inverse. Now to next question. Write the rational numbers that does not same you can do with question number 9 also. Is 0 0.3 is a multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3. You have to solve this out. First take out the decimal point it will become 3 upon 10 and while solving this it becomes 10 upon 3. Yes it will be multiplicative inverse. The rational number does not not have a reciprocal. The rational number that does not have a reciprocal. Kya bhi aisa rational number hai? Yes, there is a rational number that does not have a reciprocal. Either you can say 1, reciprocal of 1 is 1 by 1, which is again 1, or you can say reciprocal of 0. Reciprocal of 0 would be 1 by 0, which is not defined. The rational number that are equal to their reciprocal. Which rational number is equal to the reciprocal is 1. Reciprocal of 1 is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. The rational number that is equal to its negative. Which rational number is equal to its negative? And the answer would be 0. 0 is always equal to its negative. 0 has dash reciprocal. 0 has no reciprocal. The number dash and dash this you have to do in your homework. These are easy, very easy. Okay. So this is for today. I hope you will enjoy this class. Take care, stay home.